Hello everyone, good day to you all. Hope you are doing really well. Welcome to Newsroom Media. This is where we give you all fresh and sizzling news all day long. Now let's take a look at the headline for this evening. Senate Committee asks Federal Government to take over Gombe Airport. Before I go ahead with details of today's news, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Also give this video a thumbs up. Most importantly, click on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we post. Without further ado, let's dive into the details of today's news. The Senate Committee on Aviation, as well as its House of Representatives counterpart, has described Gombe State Airport as unfit for aviation business. Chairman of the Senate Committee, Senator Smart Adeyemi, gave the description in an interview with journalists on Monday at the airport. He said the facility did not have the necessary requirements of any standard, listing water, uninterrupted power supply, and other basic amenities. Adeyemi, alongside its counterpart in the House of Representatives, Unorom Unaji, agreed that the federal government should, as a matter of urgency, take over its management and funding in the interest of the residents and especially thriving businesses. Adeyemi said, considering the strategic location of the airport, and its condition, we shall impress it on the federal government to take over the facility. He urged that Gombe State was strategically located in the northeast as its borders states were ordered by insurgencies. Adeyemi said that the two co committees were in the state to ascertain the state of the airport and make recommendations for the presidency. He described airport as a socioeconomic facility that projects the image of any country. The senator said, you will all agree with me that the facility here are obsolete and nothing to smile over. On his part, Naji said the committee was approached by Gombe State Governor Muhammadu Yahaya to visit the airport and possibly impress it to the presidency to take it over. He applauded the former governor, Senator Danjuma Goje, for the vision of building the airport. Yahaya, who received the delegation, said the state could no longer fund the operations of the airport, noting the state's position on the federal government's fund allocation as second to the last. The committees were conducted round the airport facility by Deputy Governor Manasa Jatao, who repeated the governor's plea to the committees to ensure that the state airport was taken over by the federal government. This news is coming to you from Newsroom Media. Thank you very much for always listening and for all the support you all are showing this channel. I am so appreciative. I pray that the good Lord bless you all in return. If you haven't subscribed to this channel or this is your first time here, please do well to subscribe. Also, give this video a thumbs up. Most importantly, click on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we post. We still have more great news coming your way today. Please stay with us.